So this is uh, my second time recording this because I was a little too salty to uh, formulate words in a coherent manner, but I'll try again a little harder this time. Basically, there have been two new changes on beta. Last video I had about beta was like primarily damage nerfs, and that was a problem at all because you know damage is kind of a thing now. We're getting kind of close to the expansion launch, but uh, today we got some different changes. So first off. We got high voltage, got nerfed by 50%. Lightning bolt and chain lightning have a 50% of normal chance to cause a second elemental overload. This normally was 100%, and what this basically means is the second overload chance is only half of your mastery instead of the full mastery, which is a very big nerf to a talent that we weren't really using anymore. We were mostly using Storm Elemental at this point, so it is a bit confusing why they would nerf that. It kind of, uh, kind of leads into my next topic of discussion because it really goes to show how little they seem to be paying attention to what Ellie shamans want but uh anyways our next next problem is uh lava burst so let me go ahead and use lava burst on this target real quick and uh notice it didn't crit that's because it now only crits with a flame shock on the target again so we had this problem before for a very long time where flame shock had a cooldown and lava burst needed flame shock the one difference is back then Earthshock also shared a cooldown with a Flame Shock, so it was a bit worse back in like Wad and whatnot. But this is definitely still a pretty big mechanical flaw, and it really, really cripples our ability to target swap and deal with like council fights in some ways. At the beginning anyway, like a three tr three target mythic plus pool, you're kind of tied to one target for all your lava search procs, so you don't really get to spread it out very well, and for certain affixes and stuff that can be a very big problem. But mostly in raids your target swapping capabilities are very, very crippled with this being a thing, because not only is Flame Shock a 6 second cooldown, but it also only lasts 18 seconds, so you have to choose between refreshing on the boss, or dotting the add, and even if you dot the add and get a Love Burst in, you may have to go back to the boss before your Flame Shock is up, and there's just so many problems that this causes that just don't need to be there, and no other spec in the game has anything that functions like the Flame Shock and Lava Burst relationship. So it being removed for all of beta, which they did admit was intentional, was very, very good, because it kind of brought us up to par with the other specs and how they functioned. And now that it's back, we're back in the Stone Ages, where we're way behind every other spec's design and everything, and we're just kind of being left behind intentionally. So I am definitely hoping that this was unintentional and it was a bug that caused this to reemerge, but my my hope isn't terribly strong there. I I don't know. Maybe I'm a little pessimistic nowadays, but I kind of have a feeling this is intentional. Hopefully it goes back, but if this stays, that's really 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 bad. And for a spec that was admitted to be unfinished, you think you'd think that if they were to give it attention, it would either be just tuning or it would be positive attention to help it become finished, but uh, nope, they're going backwards, so it, just, it seems very strange. Fortunately for me, I have somewhat cut my mental ties with the spec when they originally announced that they were not going to finish it before release, because it kind of made it obvious to me that they didn't really care about the spec that much, along with Shadow Priest and Enhanced Shaman, of course. So I kind of kept my mental tie with that, because if they don't care about the spec, why should I care about the spec? So in the meantime, I will be playing my Warlock some, and probably playing my Shaman some, and just preparing for the worst, because I will be leveling a Warlock and a Shaman at the beginning of BFA, and then playing whatever spec is best. That's kind of my plan with the guild and everything. So we'll see where it goes. Hopefully they can make Shaman a good spec before the patch in. And, I mean... At the same time, hopefully they can make it a good spec after as well. But uh, that is the changes on beta in a nutshell. Very, very not good. Well, I'll let you know if anything changes. Hopefully there will be some change soon, because this is uh, quite questionable. Anyways, thanks for watching. See you guys next time.